Good morning and welcome to the RC Stories Garage. Here we don't do any fancy lifestyle montage. or intro montage. We just get right into it. And in the, this case, into it means mail call. Our first one. Um, but before the, we start that, I'm going to provide a little context. Um, this is my Kyosho Trail King. Tracked vehicle, I think is what they call it. I live in Canada. We get snow and it's a lot of fun. Beginning of November, we got a lot of snow. Several days. And this thing got out there and did its job. I made this plow um, mostly because I couldn't get the parts from Kyosho um, for the stock plow that comes on the blizzard. Otherwise, I probably would have bought that. But I'm actually very happy with this plow. It's large and it moves a lot of snow. But uh, one thing I did recently on this, uh, just before I get into the mail call, is uh, I swapped out the radio from the stock to a um, Spectrum SR5 channel radio so I could use my DX5 rugged radio transmitter. Um, what I did was I put uh, throttle on the right tracks and steering on the left tracks and I created a mix. So the throttle input is sent to the left uh, side as well. So when I pull the throttle, it goes forward. When I reverse the throttle, it goes back. When I'm going forward, as long as I'm not going forward at full throttle, um, I can steer to the right and this track turns faster and the vehicle moves to the right. If I turn this transmitter steering wheel to the left, this track starts to slow down and it turns to the left. Um, have way more control than I have with the stick transmitter. Uh, maybe that's just me, but I also have a lot of more low speed finesse. So I'm doing things like plowing sidewalks and building little roads on my hilly yard are a lot easier with that change. I run this on a 2S LiPo and I get the, enough runtime. Basically, it's been minus 20, minus 25 out and this lasts longer than I do. I start to get really cold standing around just driving. <laughs> so um, this uh, battery, yeah, lasts me a good hour. And I have two just in case. Um, I know the people say the stock ESC is not compatible with a LiPo battery, but um, it works with LiPo. It just doesn't have a cutoff. So I use these cheap $5 um, LiPo alarms from Amazon, you get a pack of two or something like that. They're very loud, so I just plug that into the um, balance plug, and if the battery gets low, I would hear it. And then my next thing that I'm considering with this vehicle is changing to brushless motors. I think I have an idea what I want to do there, but I would like to know if anybody has done a brushless setup in their Trail King or Blizzard vehicle and uh, what you did and how you like it. I know RC Athletes did it and his his Blizzard is fast. <laughs> um, I don't want speed. I do want power and I want low speed control. Anyway, let me know what you think. Okay, so the mail call is uh, a package that we 
I received yesterday. A rather large box. What does that say? Kyosho America. Nice. Well, let's uh, get it open. I know it's big, so you can't see much, but oh, pull it around. Um, another thing we don't do on uh, RC Stories Garage is jokes. So um, we'll just open this. But I did want to show you this knife I made. Well, I didn't make it. I mean, I didn't forge the blade. I made the handle and assembled it. I think it's quite nice. The thing about making things is you make them the way you want, and this fits really nice in my hand. So, here we go. I'm actually in my garage garage because that's the only place that's quiet enough and has enough space to do this. So I was able to put together a larger bench for this particular video because of the large box. I gotta put this on the floor. There we are. Blizzard 2.0. I love the Trail King. I like the look of the Trail King. Um, but in my neck of the woods, I think you would call that more of a cat skiing vehicle. And this we would call a, a groomer that you would see at a ski hill grooming the trails. I'm not going to do an unboxing right now, um, but let's just take a look at this. Blizzard. Lots of Japanese. Canadian on this side. Maybe American, I'm not sure. There's the option parts. Well, I wonder if we have any of those option parts in the box. Let's see. Yes, we do. All right. So what here, here we have heavy metal. Oh, I like that heavy metal caterpillar for Blizzard SR and Trail King, I guess. Um, all right, here's another item in the box. It's a rear tiller unit set for Blizzard. So it's the rear tiller. Uh, it's motorized. I haven't seen a good picture of it run um, or video of it running. And so I don't know what the mechanism is exactly, but I know there there is a battery box triggered by, I believe, the servo. The battery runs a, a small motor which turns the tiller and uh, you can do some grooming. I like to build little roads that I can drive my RC cars and trucks on in the winter because they don't do so great in the deeper snow. Hopefully it's not in the way, hanging out too, in the back too much and it can lift up. Um, we'll see on that. And maybe it detaches and attaches easily. All right, we got some more things. Let's get rid of the big bag. Okay, got a spare blade. There we go. I do run this, so I'm plowing cement, and um, I'll be able to set it so that this just barely touches the ground. So hopefully, it doesn't wear too much. That is one thing that I did um, with the plow on the Trail King. Instead of it being proportional and lifting with this stick in various positions. I set it to a two position. So it's either down on the ground or lifted up in the air to its maximum height. Um, thinking about putting it on a three position so there's, there's a mid position. So when you're going up over rollers and stuff like that, it doesn't dig in, um, etc. So a little bit of fine tuning there. And I got the metal arm for the blade plow. So it's going to go from there, I believe. Just to add some aluminum fanciness and uh, hopefully a little bit of strength. I'm sure the metal links um, are fine as well. 
And oh, I got the light. I forgot this. I always like when I add something to my cart and then I forget I did it. This is the four light bulbs unit. The Blizzard has the lights mounted on top of the cab and there's like a, like a little yellow hazard light too, so you know it's running. Um, yeah, so I'll get, get that installed. I always have like lights on my trucks. I have to, in the winter, I'm running in the dark often. There's not a lot of daylight up here. Cool. That was it for the Kyosho box. Here is the SR515 receiver that I like to use in my belts. Um, these ones, I'll just pull this in here. I like to keep a couple on hand. I never know when I'm going to do a swap or a rebuild or something. And this, I've been taking these apart and uh, putting a conformal coating on them. So they're more waterproof and they don't have to be inside of a receiver box. Focus a little bit. There you go. Um, and so I can tell which ones I've conformal coated and which ones I haven't. I've been just putting a little sticker on there. It says WP. Probably should be a WR. It's more water resistant than waterproof. But it makes me happy. So the coating that I'm using, it's uh, M&G Chemicals. Um, it's the silicon conformal coating uh, with a fluorescent dye. So I bought a little UV flashlight so I can tell when I got a good coating or complete coating on all the electronics. And I will use that on more stuff going forward. I was out shopping yesterday and uh, I got a infrared thermometer for checking engine temps. Now this is not usually a problem on crawlers, but uh, I have another build that is about to start that may be based on an enduro and it may have a short wheelbase but it's going to be more of a racer than a crawler i'm going to gear it up get it as fast as i can and still be able to control it usually just check temps with my hand and i've never had a motor get very hot or esc so this will be under a little bit more load. So there you go. That's that. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, um, share with your friends if this was interesting to you. And we will talk to you later. Bye.